Russia's plan to conquer the moon has started to take shape. The agency has started a series of experiments to simulate the conditions astronauts, according to the nation space agency Roscosmos. This is in preparation of the country's plans to permanently station 12 cosmonauts on the lunar surface in 2030. Researchers are using a unique platform simulating the moon's gravity built by RSC Energy in the early 1970s. The test will determine how easy it would be for cosmonauts to walk on the lunar surface and get out of a rover vehicle. We conduct these experiments in order to see if there's anything we can recommend to the system developers in terms of streamlining work on the moon, said Alexander Polishek, company's deputy head of research in a statement. After all, the moon is not an easy place to walk in a spacesuit. It will require special means of transportation or rovers. The new simulation experiments bring the nation a step towards reaching its aim of making a permanent base for astronauts on the moon. Russia hopes to launch a lunar probe in 2024 to scout out colony locations before landing humans on the moon in 2030. Their goal is to get acquainted with the work of human conditions on the moon and to evaluate the human potential, said Alexander Kaleri from RSC Energia. After getting a clear view of the big picture, experts will move on to logistics and streamlining before starting on designs for permanent lunar bases, rovers, runway facilities, and other other important aspects of the mission. The moon base will be used for research and mining of precious minerals, but some suggest it may also have a military purpose. At first the moon base will be manned by no more than four people, with this number later rising to between 10 and 12 people. The base will be powdered by a subsurface energy station near one of the moon's poles. A fallout shelter will also be installed underground, helping to shield the crew from both radiation and any nuclear attacks. Over Overall, Russia plans to complete the moon mission using six separate launches of the upcoming Angar rocket. Each launch will send a new module to the moon, creating the base piece by piece, in a similar way to how the ISS was put together. Assembly of the moon base is expected to take more than 10 years. Russia's first manned flight to the moon could possibly happen in 2029, according to the head of Russia's state-controlled rocket and space corporation Energia, Vladimir Soltsev, president of RSC Energia which is 38% owned by the Russian state, made the predictions at a space technology conference in Moscow in October last year. Separately, Russian company Energy last month revealed draft plans for an 11.4-ton reusable spacecraft that will take cargo and cosmonauts onto the lunar surface within five days. The Rivok project was announced in May at the Human Space Exploration International Conference in Korolev, near Moscow. The shuttle will be sent on the ISS by Soviet U-ships and Angara rockets. Prior to the lunar mission, another launch to the space station would send an accelerator block to act as fuel for Rivok. This makes the flight dramatically cheaper as instead of needing a rocket, all that could be needed is a spacecraft and fuel to lift passengers to low Earth orbit. When returning from the near-moon orbit, Rivok would open an umbrella of 55 square meters for breaking in the Earth atmosphere. Currently Russia's Soyuz spacecraft, which are built by RSC Energia, are the only only vehicles capable of sending humans into space.